Hi, my name is Clint Reiser. I'm an analyst at ARC Advisory Group covering enterprise applications, and I'm also the primary author of ARC's 2011 base year WMS study. This webcast will provide a brief overview of this study's content and its overall development process. ARC defines the WMS market to include those warehouse management systems that are real-time solutions utilizing radio frequency, voice recognition, RFID, or real-time location systems. We segment WMS solutions into two broad categories. Those categories are the core WMS solutions and add-on modules. Core WMS is the traditional WMS solution with the receiving, put-away, picking, and shipping logic. Add-on modules are those functionality sets that are sold for an additional fee, and those include labor management systems, speech recognition systems, warehouse analytics, and optimization solutions such as slotting. The ARC warehouse management study process estimates WMS revenues supplier by supplier and breaks out these revenues across a number of segmentations such as the WMS functionality sets I previously noted, the regions of North America, EMEA, Asia, and Latin America, revenue types such as software revenues, implementation services, maintenance and support services, and software as a service revenue. And finally, it also segments the market by end user industry. We then aggregate the estimates from each supplier and arrive at a total size of the worldwide WMS market. The size of each segment and the supplier market share leaders for the market as a whole and each segment. Finally, we review the past growth history of the WMS market and other closely related markets, speak with the suppliers of the market uh, about their growth prospects, and develop a five-year forecast for the WMS market in each of the market segments. We currently estimate that the worldwide WMS market grew by more than 10% in 2011 to a size of greater than $1 billion. This growth rate was above the, uh, the, the recent historical trend, and we believe it was partially driven by a post-recession rebound in capital spending. The WMS study forecast includes a number of factors that we believe will contribute to future WMS market growth and other factors that we believe are likely to inhibit growth. These uh, factors were considered while we developed the uh, forecast for the market, and we include this information to provide context for the numbers within our forecast. Uh, as an example, macroeconomic conditions in particular regions are contributing to growth currently, while austerity measures and poor macroeconomic conditions are expected to hinder growth in other regions. Um, evolving functionality requirements are driving growth in certain industries. Examples include traceability requirements for given products and changes in fulfillment needs due to the rise of e-commerce, and at the same time, market maturity and pricing pressures from industry competition are inhibiting growth when we measure it from the perspective of total market revenues. Finally, the study includes strategies for success within the market. These strategies build on the current market dynamics and outline opportunity for growth in the future. They uh, discuss the areas that offer the greatest opportunity to maintain and accelerate growth within the market. So who would be interested in purchasing this study? Well, our typical clients for um, for purchasing the WMS study are either suppliers within the market or suppliers that are looking to enter the market. This allows um, the, the WMS suppliers and interested um, parties to evaluate the, the competitive landscape, uh, obtain a lay of the land, evaluate their recent growth rates against the growth of the market, evaluate growth prospects for the various segmentations against each other, and plan for growth opportunities in the future. In addition, financial planners typically purchase our studies to evaluate these markets to sort of bridge the gap between the macroeconomic analysis that is available to them and the company-specific analysis that is available to them to obtain a better understanding of the context for various companies and their growth opportunities. 
If you'd like more information on ARC's Warehouse Management System Study, please go to www.arcweb.com. At this website address, you can find information on the Warehouse Management System Study as well as other market studies that ARC conducts on the enterprise software market and industrial automation markets. Once again, my name is Clint Reiser, the primary author of ARC's Warehouse Management Systems 2011 Base Year Study. If you'd like to reach me, I can be reached at cryser at arcweb.com. Thank you for your time.